find the sinusoids represented by the phasors. Here we have two phasors given in the question and the first phasor is V phasor is equal to minus 3 plus J4 in volts and this phasor is represented in rectangular form of complex numbers representation and the second phasor is V phasor is equal to J8 e power minus j 20 degrees in volts and this phasor is represented in exponential form of complex numbers representation and now we will find out the sinusoid corresponding to the first phasor which is v phasor equal to minus 3 plus j 4 volts and uh, we know the standard sinusoid is vt equal to vm cos omega t plus minus theta so we are required to find vm and theta and we know vm is equal to under root x square plus y square and we know that x is the real part and y is the imaginary part and in this case negative of 3 is the real part and positive of 4 is the imaginary part and therefore we can have vm equal to under root square of minus 3 plus square of 4 so we have 9 plus 16 which will give us 5 volts and we know theta that is the phase is equal to 10 inverse y over x and in our case y is equal to 4 and x is equal to minus 3 so theta will be 10 inverse 4 over minus 3 when you solve it you will find theta is equal to negative of 53.14 degrees this angle we have calculated is not the correct angle when you plot this complex number you will find this angle is not our phase angle theta so tan inverse y by x will not give you the correct result when x is negative and y is positive this means when the point is in second quadrant and you will also not get the correct result following tan inverse y by x when y is negative and x is also negative this means the point is in third quadrant and the same thing will happen when the point is in fourth quadrant that is x is positive but y is negative and when both x and y are positive then you will get the correct result following tan inverse y by x so what should we do to have the correct result whenever the point is in second or third quadrants you will add 180 degrees to the obtained result and whenever the point is in fourth quadrant you will add 360 degrees to the obtained result in this case point is in second quadrant so we will add 180 degrees and therefore we will have 126 point 86 degrees so in this way we have obtained vm it is 5 volts and we have obtained theta it is 126.86 degrees and therefore the corresponding sinusoid will be 5 cos omega t plus 126.86 degrees this is our answer now we will find out the sinusoid corresponding to the second phasor and the second phasor is V phasor equal to J8 e power negative of J20 degrees and we can have this exponential form converted to polar form we will have J8 angle negative of 20 degrees now we will first focus on this J here we will try to have the polar form of complex number j complex number is equal to j this means 
real part is 0 and the imaginary part is 1 and we can plot this complex number in the complex plane real part is 0 imaginary part is 1 so we have the vector like this and it is making 90 degrees in anti-clockwise direction so we can say that Z is equal to one angle 90 degrees this is the polar representation of complex number Z equal to J and therefore we can write our V phasor equal to one angle 90 degrees in place of J multiplied to 8 angle minus 20 degrees and after this we will multiply the magnitudes that is we will multiply 1 and 8 and we will add the angles 90 degrees plus negative of 20 degrees so we finally have V phasor equal to 8 angle 70 degrees and therefore the corresponding sinusoid Vt will be 8 cos omega t plus 70 degrees. This is the answer.